now seems like a fitting time for a tip of the cap to law enforcement, Homeland Security, the FBI, state and local police. The planning for this uh, has been two years in the making at the very least, uh, and we've gone off, as I understand it, without any major incidents. Uh, let's turn now to Fox 5's Morse Diggs, who's been on the security beat all week. Uh, Morse, I guess you can confirm that for us, can't you? Well, I can tell you this, I just got an update from the Atlanta officers who've been monitoring this, and they are very pleased. It has been a very good night. The streets were thick with law enforcement, making sure that all the action would be on the field, and that included the bomb-sniffing dogs working the security posts leading into the football stadium. Every vehicle going into the restricted area got two checks. An officer used technology to wand every vehicle. An effort this large establishes layers of security. There are posts at every corner of the stadium, and no unauthorized vehicle could be driven through the security apron due to the city government trucks also in position to deny access. There is law enforcement that's been here from more than 40 departments and agencies on hand to assist the city. We've had very little problems. Everybody's been patient uh, and they, they understand the security that we're doing here and okay. stuff. And we have received a lot of appreciation and a lot of comments. Is this a real challenge to pull all these folks together so they know what they're doing? Yeah, it's been a challenge for the past two years. I'm talking ever since the Atlanta found out they was going to get the Super Bowl. But uh, I think we stood up to the challenge. Okay, now there's plenty of private security also that will be working through the night. There are two challenges ahead for the city. They're hoping that at these after parties, people behave themselves, no matter whether they were cheering for the Rams or for the Patriots. And, of course, tomorrow morning at the airport, they're going to try to get these folks back to New England, back to L.A., and wherever other parts they came from. Reporting live from downtown Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. Yeah, you make a good point. For law enforcement, us, back the work to you. is never done. I'm more sticks. Thanks very much.